The Bears have arrived in Salt Lake City for tomorrow's NCAA tournament first round game ahead of their showdown with eight seed Syracuse. They got some news. Syracuse starting point guard Frank Howard is out indefinitely for violating athletic department policy. Nick Canizales has more on the Bears in Salt Lake City. Well, what a year for the Baylor Bears after being picked to finish ninth in the Big 12 and then losing star forward Tristan Clark to injury. The Bears got hot at the right time as they make their sixth NCAA tournament in the last seven years. Baylor will go through a 40 minute workout starting at 640. Now they enter the big dance on a four game losing streak and has yet to win a game in March. Now despite Makai Mason and King McClure missing several games due to injury, both players should be ready to go for tomorrow's game. Now the Bears come in as one of the best rebounding teams in the nation. On the flip side, Syracuse ranks 309th in defensive rebounding. Baylor ranks fourth in offensive rebounding, so Mark Vidal has to be licking his chops right now. The Orange finished four and seven in their last 11 games. Junior guard Tyus Battle returns after missing the ACC tournament with a sore back. Scott Drew knows his team will have to keep an eye on Battle, who leads the Qs, averaging 17 points a game. Somebody that uh, 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 takes tough shots, makes tough shots, and uh, athletically, uh, someone that's a, a hard matchup from the standpoint. He's got size, got uh, uh, athleticism, uh, so that's why he's projected as an NBA player. You know, I know the feeling of uh, not making it. I know the feeling of losing first round. Those aren't good feelings. So now that we're here, we're happy, we're celebrating. Uh, now we got to take care of business. So we got to step on the court and be ready from the jump. Baylor and Syracuse will tip off at 8.57 on True TV. Both teams will be meeting for the first time since 2013. The winner of this game will take on number one Gonzaga or 16th range Fairley Dickinson on Saturday. We'll have plenty more coming up with the Bears at 10 o'clock. But for now, we're in Salt Lake City. Nick Canizales, Channel 6 Sports.